Hi, welcome to this Corporate Mars video. In this video, we're going to look at density. Density is the relationship between the mass and the volume of a substance. So if we had two blocks, for instance, this block of wood and this block of copper, and both blocks have the same volume, the block of copper would be much heavier, it would have a higher mass than the block of wood. And the reason is copper has got a higher density than wood. So copper has got a density of 8.92 grams per centimeter cube. And that means that if you had a one centimeter cube of copper, it would have a mass of 8.92 grams. Whereas wood, this particular type of wood, has a density of 0.85 grams per centimeter cube. So in other words, if we've got a one centimeter cube of this wood, it would have a mass of 0.85 grams. So obviously the copper would be much heavier than the wood if they've got the same volume. So knowing the densities of materials can be really useful because then we can solve questions that involve finding their volumes or finding the uh, mass of an object and so on. Now in terms of density, there's a formula to work out density and I'm going to show you that now and I'm going to show you the various formula that can be used whenever you're dealing with densities. But what I'm then going to do is I'm going to do the questions just using the knowledge of what density means. So let's have a look at the formula to begin with. So to work out the density of an object, we do the mass divided by its volume. So if we have a, an object and we do its mass and we divide it by its volume, it will give you the density of the material. Now, if you rearrange this formula, if you multiply both sides of this formula by volume, you would get density times volume is equal to mass. And that's our next formula. Mass is equal to density times volume. And finally, if you divide both sides of this formula by density, you would get mass divided by density is equal to volume. So these three formulae can be really useful whenever you're dealing with density. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you these questions now, these three examples, and I'm going to solve them just using the knowledge of what density is. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. Our first example says a piece of metal has got a volume of 50 centimeters cubed and a mass of 800 grams. And we've been asked to calculate the density of the metal. So let's consider what density is to begin with. So remember we looked at it previously and we had these objects. We had this block of copper and this block of wood and the density of copper was 8.92 grams per centimeter cubed. So if we can work at the mass of one centimeter cubed of the material, that will be its density. So if we go back to our question, we have got the object has got a mass of 800 grams and it has got a volume of 50 centimeters cubed. Now we don't want to know the mass of 50 centimeters cubed. We want to just find the mass of one centimeter cubed. So if we divide 800 by 50, we'll find how heavy or how the mass of one centimeter cubed of this metal. So let's take our 800 grams and let's divide it by 50. And if we do 800 divided by 50, that's equal to 16. So that means that one centimeter cubed of this material, this metal, has got a mass of 16 grams. So it's going to be 16 grams per centimeter cubed. And that's it. So the density of this metal is 16 grams per centimeter cubed. And that's it. Now, whenever we're dealing with density, sometimes the units are grams per centimeter cubed. It might sometimes be kilograms per meter cubed. Um, it just depends on the question. In this question, we're dealing with grams and centimeter cubed. So it just made sense to find the density in terms of grams per centimeter cubed. And that's it. So the density of the metal would be 16 grams per centimeter cubed. We found the mass of one centimeter cubed of this metal. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, a solid iron statue has got a mass of 897 grams. Iron's got a density of 7.8 grams per centimeter cubed. Work out the volume of the statue. So we've been given the mass of the statue. So the mass of the statue is 897 grams. And we know the density of the iron, which is 7.8 grams per centimeter cubed. That means that every single centimeter cube of iron has got a mass of 7.8 grams. So if we see how many 7.8s go into 897 grams, that would tell us how many centimeter cubes there would be, because each single centimeter cubed has got a mass of 7.8 grams. So let's take our 897, the total mass of the object, and divide it by 7.8, and that would tell us how many centimeter cubes there would be. And that's the volume of the statue. So let's take our 897 and divide it by 7.8. And when we do that, we get an answer of 115. And that means it's 115 centimeters cubed, or 115 cubic centimeters. And each one of those cubic centimeters has got a mass of 7.8, and that means the total mass of the object would be 897 grams. And that's it. So what we done was we divided the mass, the 897, by 7.8, and told us how many centimeters cubed there would be. Okay, and let's have a look at our last example. Okay, our last example says the cylinder below, so here we've got a cylinder, is made of glass. So it's a solid cylinder and it's made of glass. And the density of the glass is 2.5 grams per centimeter cubed. So in other words, each centimeter cubed of glass has a mass of 2.5 grams. I've been asked to calculate the mass of the cylinder. 
So to find the mass of the cylinder, what we're going to need to do is find its volume. And then once we know its volume, well, we'll know that each centimeter cubed has got a mass of 2.5 grams. So then we can multiply the volume by 2.5 to find the total mass of the cylinder. So we need to find the volume of the cylinder. And to find the volume of a cylinder, we work out pi r squared, the area of the circle. So we do pi r squared. And then we multiply by how tall or how long the cylinder is. So we're going to do pi r squared and then multiply by the height. So the volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared, so pi r squared times the height, so pi r squared h. So we'll do pi times the radius, which is 7, so 7 squared, multiplied by the height, how tall the cylinder is, which is 20. And whenever we work out pi times 7 squared multiplied by 20, that will be the volume of the cylinder. And that's equal to 980 pi, or if we change that to a decimal, that's equal to 3078.7608 and so on centimeters cubed. So this cylinder has got a volume of 3078.7608 and so on centimeters cubed. Now we know that each centimeter cubed of the glass has got a mass of 2.5 grams. So if we multiply this, how many centimetres cubed there are, by 2.5, it would tell us the total mass of the cylinder. So let's take our 3078.7608 and so on, and multiply that by 2.5 and see what we get. And that's equal to 7,696.90 and so on grams. So the mass of the cylinder is 7,696.90 and so on grams. And let's round that to one decimal place. So that'll be 7,696.9 grams. And that's it. So that's the mass of the cylinder. Now we could, if we wanted to, write that in kilograms. And remember to convert from grams to kilograms, we divide by 1,000. So if we divide this by 1,000, we would get 7.6969 kilograms. So that'll be the mass of the cylinder in kilograms. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at density and we've used our knowledge of density to be able to answer questions involving density. It might be useful to look at the formula and to make sure you know what those are. So density is equal to mass divided by volume and be able to rearrange that to find the other formula if you wanted to. But to answer these questions such as these, you can just use your knowledge of density to be able to work those out. And that's it. I really hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.